Food King to pick up some prescriptions for my barber sister. She threw out her back watching the client's dog, and the clients let their son's dog join into the dog watching deal. And the big dog jumped up my baby sister's back and made her throw her back out so she was sitting at home in pain oh, here we go but I have to hit the bank get some cash I don't know how much those prescriptions are going to buy but we'll find out We'll find out by goddamn. Well, I've been kind of bored, so this is actually pretty fun. First time at Food King. Oh, all right, big old fifth wheel putting down the road. They're gone. Going to my RV park or the one at the lake. Got a boat behind them. And we're going to go to the one at the lake. Going to the marina now. Yeah, they're heading to the marina one. Too hot to be running. The joggers probably came in about 
7 in the morning. It's almost lunchtime now. 11, 16. So, here we go. Donut place is still there, so that's good. Got a nice little donut shop right off of Red Bluff Road there. If you ever come to San Angelo and you want to do a little camping at the lake and uh, get it set up on the uh, west side of the lake on Red Bluff Road, uh, there's a donut shop here. Go get fresh donuts and kolaches for your early morning coffees. So yeah, nothing like camping and having a donut shop just right down the road so you could cut some kolaches or some good donuts and have your favorite coffee brewing while you're running to the donut shop. So yeah, can't beat that. So we'll see what this uh, venture will all detail here. See how everybody's doing. Looks like the COVID is starting to come back to San Angelo. I think we had, I think we hit probably 56 cases yesterday, new cases. So who knows? That means there's at least a. Uh, 50 people out there spreading it, they caught it and they're spreading it and then, then here, whoever catches it from them spreading it so, so we'll have a hot mess before we fucking know it <laughs> so they're, wow what happened we're down to maybe zero new cases to now it's just been starting to gradually hit us little by little just started probably about a month ago I told my older sister I said I just looked at San Angelo's COVID cases and we had like 10 new cases it looks like it's coming back uh, I haven't seen what the case load is today but at least uh, the hospitals are getting overwhelmed most of the time anyway if you get the COVID you go up to the doctor and oh, yeah you got the COVID here's the seat back go home and uh, take your seat back and you'll be coming out of it in three days but you gotta stay quarantined for two weeks so it's like okay Prescriptions. We'll probably stop the Sonic first. Maybe I don't know. It's just a football. We're playing a football game today. We're just uh, I go to Sonic get some tater tots for my older sister. I drop it off at her jewelry store. Her husband's jewelry store. And, uh, then go get the prescriptions and then go find my sister's house and then uh, her little thing should be jolly. Well, this is the lip. The lip's been here for about, oh, it's almost 10 years now. It's, Sands and road damage. 
footage, I guess. Trying to resurface it. But it's a nice thing to have. Before the loop, we had to go through the city itself for the going into the city full of traffic lights and low speed limits the loop uh, makes your driving time a lot quicker that's for sure we're gonna hit the bank get some money so we don't get in bursts standing at the fucking food king trying to so oh I thought the show was free Nothing's free in America. You gotta go buy it. You gotta go spend your money somewhere. Let's see what these people are doing. Oh, got us a little maintenance action over there. Goofball would have a cone put out. It'd be awesome if the fucking ATM started to blow fucking 20s out. <laughs> Dash for the cash! Come on, people, how hard is it to get your fucking money out of the ATM? Uh, I wish to have my pants on today. <laughs> Guess I'll have to do my yard when I get back. Uh, the uh, management girl that cuts the grass, she uh, actually cut half my yard that she could do with her big mower. That was pretty sweet of her. Make me feel bad. It's like, ah, oh, she's giving me a fucking subtle hint. Get your ass out of your fucking RV and fucking cut your yard, dude. <laughs> but, uh, I get so pissed I don't mind cutting grass but it's not my favorite pastime raviolis in a fucking nap will do but uh, But yeah, it seems like every time I cut the damn grass, it fucking rains again. It's like, God damn it. God damn it. The things that you have to deal with when you try to go cheap at an RV park. The RV park on that, they have two rates. You save almost a hundred bucks a month and actually you save 185 bucks a month if you uh, cut your yard and pay your electricity um, the rent's like 400 uh, but if you want them to cut your yard um, then the rent's a little bit higher 585 
some tartar tots and then we'll go to food gang and get the drugs and then we'll go to my baby sister's and uh, drop off her little